my lips. This is weird. Weirdly, it's turning me on and turning you off at the same time. I don't know how that works. Yeah, that was cross-eyed. <laughs> oh, that was cross-eyed too? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I think there's a movie with that in it somewhere. Hey, kid folk. Welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I'm Nick, certified bartender. And I am Derek, executive bourbon steward. You know what we're here today to do. We're going to try to figure out what's in this glass, what's in the canister behind us, during our blind review but as always don't forget subscribe click the like button below share with all of your friends and join us on Twitter Instagram YouTube or Facebook Facebook group we have our own Facebook group we do. I was gonna say Facebook live because we do live we do on lives. Facebook group. We do do lives. so join us on Facebook where we share and talk about everything whiskey we do share so sir are you ready to whiskey ready and able let's do it Oh, that that's nice. nice. Man, I think we say that like every episode. That I know, but it's so nice. And then wow. by the end, you're like, wow, this is crap in a glass. I don't yeah, know what happened. I know. <laughs> you know what? It's a different change of pace from the last one we did, so it's it, that's why it's nice. I am getting a chocolate. I am getting a chocolate. I'm getting a. I'm getting very. I know it is dark, <laughs> but I'm getting a lot of dark scents. If that makes okay. sense. Okay, uh, so right? the darker ends of the spectrum of yes. fruits and like spices. Like a dark brown sugar. Yeah. A dark cherry. A yeah, dark that's... black tea. Ooh. The alcohol is kind of. It is. It's in up your there. Face, it it is yeah. up there. The alcohol content really comes through on the nose. I'm getting some corn. All right. Want to try it? Yeah, I think so. I think you nailed a lot of the notes, so let's go in on it. Woohoo! Wow, yeah. Ooh, cinnamon, brown sugar, oak. It reflects. A fruit note, yeah. It's, it reflects it, that, exactly. The nose the is, is very yeah. similar to the nose, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Maltiness in there. There's like a there's yep. a mustiness going on too. They're getting the barrel. A lot there's of baking spice. Yeah, in there's there. a lot of spice. Mm. It's got a little licorice in the back. I think yeah. I was, I mean that immediate nose. I got like that chocolate right off the bat when I put my nose. Maybe in it's there. not licorice. Yeah, no, it's it's a um, cocoa like a, a, a dark yeah. chocolate. Remember the like different percentages we had. For the cocoa, the oh, chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like that... the darkest one we had that was a percent. Oh, it was like the, we had the 85%, 85%. We had a 70. I had like 85, 75, it's, it's, 70. It's totally like with a dark the cocoa. Spec. Yeah, it's definitely a dark cocoa. It's not cocoa. licorice. I apologize. I hate That's fine. Licorice. Sweet. There. It is. It's like, like um, a cinnamon, but there's a fruit note in there like an apple. I'm going to go with like a nice red apple. It's a, Yeah. It's like a nice like. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you like are surprised yeah. by an edible arrangement, and yeah. it's like you it's get like the actually chocolate. good. Yeah, and it's good. You got the ones you wanted in the platter. Mm. Like <laughs> it's not like an arrangement that's yeah. ridiculous. That's the ridiculous arrangement that you didn't want. No, I didn't want. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't I, want I, dragon I, fruit dipped in chocolate. But I'll eat it. I'll eat it. I'm getting a lot of like barrel. Or like, yeah. I don't know what it is. It reminds me of a bar. It just reminds me of sitting at a bar having a bourbon. That's it. That's all I can. T it's like a. I don't know if it's a barreling thing or it's just is like. Maybe a little tobacco in there too. Um, I don't know. You want to put some water in here? Let's see if it opens it up in any way, shape, or form. I'm getting like, like sense of like an old fashioned in there too. Like that orange when you muddle the bitters with the orange and the uh, cherry. Like, I'm getting that smell. Okay. But I, that doesn't so, have a real smell. You know what well, I mean? Well, it doesn't, but... Well, there is, because you're getting that citrus and that fruitiness to it that's coming out. And you, when you hit that the uh, orange peel, you know, you're letting out all those oils and everything. So mm. you're getting that citrus smell of the rind mm. and whatnot. It's really good. Like, it doesn't need much complexity, but I feel like we did pick out a lot of things. And there's I, a lot. I like there's there's like a there. vanilla in there, too. I just got on the nose when I with the water. Or it's a caramel, you know us, 50 50. It's either one or the other. It's so good. Mmm. Ooh. That actually smoothed it out. Smoothed yeah, it, out. it did though. It did. It, no, like, it, even, like, it brought down the alcohol, but it brought out like that smooth, like a caramel note in there, 
Um, like a delicious treat. Yeah, it, it really it nice. like sweetened it up to like almost a candy note with that. I, I don't want to say cake, but it was like as if it was like a frosting, like, like, like a, oh a frosting, a vanilla frosting. Yeah, yep. That's nice. Or like the cream inside of a Boston cream. You ever just like lick the inside of a Boston cream donut? No. Try it. <laughs> and watch me while you do it. <laughs> and make eye contact. Don't watch stop. me. No, don't stop. Just look at me deep. You're like that. I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, oh, all right. Let's write down some guesses here I'm on ready. what we think this might be. All right. That was easy, kids. That was easy. And why don't you lead us off with... I will. What do you think your scores are going to be today? What I think it's going to be... I need more. <laughs> I really liked this well, one. Well, once we open up the chug jug, maybe we can get more. I'm sliding them out right now. Okay. I really enjoyed this. I'm All going right. with a four, sir. All right. This really hit me... Tickled my fancy, if you will. Wonderful. I was going to say the same thing. It gave me a very tickle in all the right places. <laughs> and I would give this one a amazing... Four wow! And oh, a quarter. Woo. Is this Go, quarter? Yeah, that's quarter. Okay, quarter. going plus. Yeah, I. This is good. This is good. I think that there's a lot to it by itself. When we added the water concept, I was like, wow. You know, it yeah, didn't. It didn't kill anything. It just brought out a different texture to it and a different essence it, of it. it, it some of nice. the other stuff in the palate and the nose came out, yeah. which were buried, which was nice because I think you got through the alcohol. I did. Bourbon, fifty percent. Wow. And I went with H2O. I think the H2O definitely... Ooh! Bourbon as well. You went 43, huh? 43. With, with, with I didn't look. know how strong it was, because to me... I, I think that alcohol up front, but I could be wrong. You may be closer. We'll, we'll see when you crack the magical can open, sir. Yeah. Let's see All right, happens. let's find out. This is my first time I've ever done this. I know, this is, right? This is a big day for you. It's like a pappy, and that so pisses me <laughs> yeah. off. I didn't say anything. I was like, it's so sweet. Damn it. That's the one I should have been. You should have thrown it. Should've That's should've awesome, tried. dude. Wow. wow. Van okay. Winkle. This is the the special reserve 12 year old lot B. Wow. That's what we got there, folks. Amazing. I'm oh. rather excited, too. I wasn't expecting wow. to see that in the mix, honestly. I'm more my. Yeah, I'm. I'm taken back. Wow. Great. Right. Uh, this is the Van Winkle wow. Special Reserve 12 year old Lot B. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 90.4 proof. So you are closer than I, uh, I would be uh, with 45.20% alcohol, age 12 years. It's a weeded bourbon. This is the distillery is Old Rip Van Winkle. Parent company is Buffalo Trace. Mm. Um, brilliant. The appearance is brilliant amber orange in color. Uh, the nose is luscious, complex toffee. Okay. Uh, palate is a round, supple entry leading to a dry, expansive medium body. Not really a lot going on there. The finish is notes of caramel, nuts, and brown spices with a lengthy and enveloping finish. It's an outrageously smooth and decadent bourbon. This is all the notes are from old Rip Van Winkle distillery notes and history. Price. What the normal price is on The this. normal price, if I remember, it was like... Eighty nine ninety nine or something, but you sell it for I think you could buy it for four hundred and ninety nine or something. The price right? I, I know what the price it's it's eighty bucks. You were right. Oh, seventy nine ninety nine for the bottle. Oh, all right. Secondary market or usually what you're going to see this for is about six hundred ninety nine dollars. Six hundred. Okay. So this is, is the on, ten four hundred. The ten is about four hundred. Yeah. Four hundred. Okay, so five hundred. Right. About okay. five hundred dollars. Four cool. nine four ninety nine. Usually I think is what the uh, so it's like four hundred ninety nine dollars for the ten year. But this one right here, yeah, it's about six hundred ninety nine dollars. That your average price you'll find it in any liquor store because this is the time of the year right now we're coming into where this is when it all comes out onto the market. Yeah. Um, Pappy is hitting the markets, hitting the shelves, all the Buffalo Trace Antiques collection, and they know what they have on the shelf. And, a, you know, price is really, it's what you're willing to pay for what you're drinking. You know, when you see it, are you ever going to see it again? It's what you want to pay for, it, honestly. You know what I mean? So we were fortunate enough last year, Bourbon Babe, Allowed me to, you know, for Christmas, buy this one and buy the 10 year. So I got both bottles. Did I pay above what MSRP is? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. Will I ever buy these again? No, I will not. 
Um, but, you know, they are very good. And if you're ever in your life, you truly have to try these. These aren't considered actual pappies, the 10-year and the 12-year. It's not until you get to the 15-year are actually considered the Pappy Van Winkles um, because his face is actually on the bottle. Okay. So that's the differentiation between these and those. The Pappy is on those bottles, the 15, the 20, and the 23. I've tried all of them. Uh, we, try, we, fortunate enough, last year got to try the 10, the 12, and the 15-year, thanks to yep. Paul Lavelli. Thank you very much, Paul. Yes, and his uh, wife. And his wife, Karen, who actually won that for him at a, you know, uh, what the heck? The Muckies Raffle. The Muckies Raffle. Yep. So, yep. Um, you know, he, so he was able to get that, and we were able to try it. And we actually enjoyed the 10-year and I think the 15-year the most out of it. I was going to say. When we did it. Um, we but, liked the proofing lot. But this, you know, blind, amazing. It was yeah. del It's delicious. It really is. It's very good. And you can pour yourself some more now that we have it out. All right. There you go. Well, there you I'll, go. Pour, I'll pour it just very seldom because uh, now that I know no, what the bottle no. is. Pour yourself some, buddy, because that's it's best when drinking with All friends. Right. That's what's supposed to be shared with friends. I will. It's Holy just, crap, not that much. Well, I know. I was, I was like, well, that, that came out too fast. <laughs> Just kidding. At least I will um, drink it. Yeah, you know this. You want some? Is, you know, <laughs> we I'm good. I, I can. I'll pour my own. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely, I'm staying with my score of a four. I'm staying with mine, four and a quarter. So, well, folks, as always, please subscribe, like, share with anyone you know. We have a bunch of new things coming out. We have a Christmas episode coming up soon. We have a huge Christmas sip along that's going to be happening. I don't know if this will post. This will probably post after. Maybe around the same time. It might be after. But go it's check it out because it'll be recorded as always. And tell your friends. And as always, kid folk, here's hoping you find a little bit of luxury in an otherwise ordinary life. Take care. Take care, everybody. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kid folk.